Watch you guys come to our final part of our Macro Room Reflect and we're going to be doing the restore part in this video so it will be a bit of a lengthy one and uh, let's have a look at our image that we created so if you remember in our last video I put our image inside image uh, hard drive here and you can see this is the actual image itself now what we can do here we can do numerous different things so I would normally store these on an external drive or a NAS drive or something like that with all the names of the people that I've made backups for so we could also mount this if we wanted to pull out some files so we could right click on this and explore this image and uh, all we need to do here is put the tick inside what you want to explore which is the actual C drive which you can see there 292 gigabytes in size I'm going to put the tick inside enable access to restricted folders click OK here and there we can see all our files that we've got here so if I wanted to pull out some photographs I could do and if I wanted to pull out some videos or documents we could do that pretty easily or even emails or anything like that uh, get the archive for the emails pull it out of this image pretty straightforward really but very very useful okay so let's uh, have a look at the actual my computer here and what it's done you can see it's mounted this image okay so if you want to demount the image all you need to do here and uh, unmount this image go like that and it will unmount it and we're back to normal okay that's how simple that is so what I can do here as well is also restore this click on restore and this will open up the actual program macaroon reflector program here let me just cancel this out here but you see here before we do that we can actually verify the image before we restore it and whatnot here okay so I'm just going to quickly cancel this part here and you can see we have a little area here which we've got some tools here we can browse the image from this location as well if I wish so we need to do here at this stage is click on this and it will open up the same thing right clicking on it would do that and also clicking on here also verify the image that's very important to make sure you verify your image what that's going to do is make sure it's verified and working in working order and it's okay so many times I've seen people create images that turn out to be corrupt and they don't know about it until the time when they need to install it and it's corrupt and it won't work and that's because they never verified it okay very important restore an image we can restore it from this location as well and also we've got uh, create uh, incremental and uh, differential uh, area there up the top here we've also got create a rescue media which we'll go through in a second and uh, we've also got uh, edit defaults and check for updates convert an image to VHD uh, virtual hard disk basically and stuff like that okay so there's some other bits and pieces inside here so we've got some other stuff inside here okay um, log file uh, disk image here you can see and also you can see we've got a uh, schedule backups and stuff like that you can do all this sort of good stuff okay so let me have a look at uh, create rescue media now we was talking about when we created rescue media before about going into Windows PE you can actually build a Linux one and when you go next here you can also create an ISO image if you wish on there and click finish and this will actually create an ISO image and we're going to put this on our desktop I've already got one here but I'm just going to quickly overwrite that to show you how easy it is and that has been created so if you wanted to burn that ISO now we could do that quite easily so there's our ISO and we could boot this and up will go so this is a rescue CD which we're going to be using okay so I'm going to set up my camcorder now and we're going to video the screen and show you how we can go ahead and put this back onto a nice drive new drive okay on our image that we created so that'll see you back in a second okay so what we're going to do here is boot up to our rescue CD so we're just going to quickly boot up to this and as you can see this is the options you're going to get now this is the Linux based rescue CD just going to go next here and then we need to select our actual partition what we want to get our uh, image from so it's just uh, you can see the backup drive there this is coming off of an external USB drive and I've got the uh, 
500 gig drive to put it to. It's going to go next here and now you can see the actual uh, two images and two partitions that we've uh, copied the actual system rescue and also the C drive so I'm just going to go next here and it's going to ask us what disk we want to copy it to and this is going to be our new disk i.e. our 500 gig uh, drive okay so I'll put the tick in there now you should really verify this before you actually continue but it will double the length of time or even longer um, to do that so if you've already verified it you don't need to worry about that I'm going to skip that part and then I'm just going to click on restore and this is what it's going to do it's going to rebuild our actual operating system to what we've made the image from I'm going to say yes to this everything will be wiped at this stage this will take a considerable amount of time just going to click OK here and sorry about the picture quality there it was a bit dark so I'll just let this run now this will take a fair bit of time to do so I would advise you to go and make yourself a cup of tea or something and then let it do its thing it will take a fair bit of time okay so that's now complete and that did take a fair bit of time to do so what we need to do now is remove the rescue CD from the DVD ROM drive and click on reboot and this will actually boot up the operating system for the first time now again apologies for the picture quality um, but the actual flash on the camera there but you'll get the general idea of it so we'll just let Windows boot up here and once this gets to the desktop you should have a complete mirror image of what you had before now obviously I did leave out the actual um, data partitions if you watched my previous videos and you would have seen um, all I copied was the Windows drive so it is possible to do that as you can see and uh, it's just putting the drivers on for the external drive that is found and we'll take a look at the drive in a second what I did was I copied the actual image to an external USB drive and then pointed to that and as you can see here now we have one drive one C drive and uh, we have our external drive which has got my image on which is what I was using to put our windows back onto okay and we pointed to that in our rescue disk and there's our actual C drive there so basically that's how you uh, restore an image which you've created okay and uh, you've seen pretty much the whole process here on how to create an image how to create a, a clone and also how to restore it all so i hope you enjoyed it my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button guys and show support by rating and favorite all my videos and i'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again bye for now